Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm just kind of starting off this video in a weird spot, but this is the start of the Ranger kind of build series, or the lift series that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to include it all in one video, I think, um, from start to finish. So today, I'm taking the truck into where it, we're buying the lift kit, and they want to put uh, underspray underneath, so that way the parts will come out easier and uh, just lubricate all the bolts and nuts and everything, so they can install it easier as well. So. So that's the plan for today, and then we're going to order wheels and tires probably within the next week or so, hopefully. And it's all going to take a couple weeks to come in at least, so hopefully within the next month, I will have this thing lifted and all set up and ready for the winter. It's going to be a blast, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and I'm excited to start off this series. So I'm going to head over there now, and I'll catch up with you guys uh, either once I'm there or after the fact. I'll talk to you guys, because um, I don't like holding the camera in everybody's face and whatnot. I'll see you guys in a bit. Also, this thing looks so good with those Raptor lights. Can't get over it. The lift was just ordered, five inch rough country. And uh, while we were there, we were trying to price out some wheels and tires. And so I was looking at 17 by 10 and a half, which is a 33 tire. Um, and they didn't have, I was looking at the American Racing Rim. Sorry, my thoughts are kind of everywhere. I was looking at American Racing Rims, kind of classic style, satin black. And they don't have that size. They didn't have 17s at all, apparently. So right now I'm kind of figuring out which kind of rim I want. I know for tire size, I'm looking at a 295. 7017 or 305 uh, was it 30560 or 6517 obviously the rim choice not sure I just know the 15s that come stock on uh, Ford Rangers they look small even on the stock ride height of the truck so I like I think 17 is a fair rim size choice to go especially with the lift kit so uh, just the toss up of what brand I want to go with, whether it be Fuel, um, HD, American Racing, wherever. Um, we were just checking to see through the four wheel drive store that we were just at um, if they could order the wheels and tires. Worst comes to worst, and I really dead set on getting some cheaper American Racing rooms. I just ordered them myself and uh, obviously give it to them when they go to install a lift. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of updating you guys where I'm at. It's, um, and that's it. So the lift is ordered. Hopefully it'll be in within the next couple weeks. And I'll keep updating this video as, uh, as it progresses. I'm really, ex really excited. I can't wait for this whole thing to be done. Because I've been so amped for it for since uh, spring, really. Uh, since I even got the truck. And even when I had the Grey Ranger a couple years ago now. I won't really, this is the, the grand scheme I had in my head all the way back then. So now to see it coming true with the, even though it's a different truck, seeing it come true really makes me excited. Alright. What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be placing the order on my rims. Whoa, we are very zoomed in here. Uh, I'm gonna be placing that order on my rims finally and uh, I'll show you a picture of what they look like here. You're gonna see they're five star um, fuel Anza rims. They're gunmetal and so the size I've decided to go with is 17 by eight and a half simply because so those Anza rims came in a 15 by 10 with a negative 43 offset which is exactly the width and the offset that I want. Um, however, the 15 inch rim is the same size as the stock rims and I feel like it would look very disproportionate and that the rim would kind of get lost in the tire. So I decided I'll go with a 17 by eight and a half, uh, probably to go with a 295 wide tire. And if I have to, once the lift and all the wheels are put on, I'll probably order up one to two inch spacers and get the wheels to get you know, sticking out past the fenders just a little bit. I want some offset. I don't like the look when the tires are flush with the body. It just kind of looks like it's going to tip over. I like the more offset look. Um, but we'll see when the wheels are on and go from there. I'll measure it out. Um, but for today, like I said, I'm going to be ordering those fuel rims. 
and the lift is going to be about two weeks and the rims will probably be three to four weeks from now. So this video is going to be taking place over a month, maybe even a bit more, um, but I'm just excited to get it done and I'm excited to document the whole experience and thank you guys for sticking with me. So. Let's head out. I'm excited. Let's order these. Let's order these rims. It took me countless, countless hours to uh, pick them out to find the right rims, and uh, let's go. I've arrived, this is where the lift has been ordered and I'm also going to be ordering the rims. Got a couple Jeeps there. Well, four of them actually. Five. <laughs> oh God! Alright, so I'm going to pull in and order up these rims and I will catch up with you guys once I've uh, placed the order on them. Alright, and just like that, the rims have been ordered. So, like I said, sorry I'm just going to get the key out of my pocket here. Oh, they're, where are they? They're on the seat. So like I uh, said when I first got in here, uh, I went with the fuel and the rims. So excited to see how they're gonna turn out and turns out that uh, they had them in stock. So they're on order. Now I just have to figure out tires and this thing's gonna be ready to rock in about three to four weeks. So I'm pumped. I'll catch up with you guys once uh, we start figuring out tires. Just take it one step at a time. So it's awesome. All right, what's going on guys? This is actually the morning we are doing the lift um, inside the truck, because as you can see, there is snow and ice and it's cold. So I'm warming up the truck before we head out. Today is finally the day, I am so excited. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film in there, but I'm just excited to get there. So I'm gonna move some stuff out of my truck for now, just for work and whatnot, and we're gonna be on our way. Alright, so as you can tell, I'm back at home. This is going to be the ride for today, but that's kind of besides the point. The uh, truck is dropped off, and uh, the guy there said he'd let me know when uh, they got up on the lift and whatnot, so I'll be able to film a little bit there. And I got a picture of the rims that I'll put up on the screen now. And when I first walked in and saw them, I was they looked even better than what I saw online, so I'm really, really excited to see what they look like on the truck. And the tires are BF Goodrich, I believe, all-terrain. So I think for now, I will catch up to you guys once I'm back there at the shop and I'll film a little bit. And I'm really excited to see how this turns out. He said it'll probably take today, maybe a bit of tomorrow, so. Excited for this. Alright. Sorry guys if that was like really choppy and I didn't really say too much. I didn't want to step on their toes too much in there. I know that they're busy. Like I'm not friends with any of the guys in there. So I didn't want them to um you know feel anxious or nervous or even kind of frustrated at me for being there and, and watching like a trust thing because I 100% trust them um, I'm just very anxious to check it out so I got a few shots there of um, what he was working on uh, he had the spindles he was taking off the spindles when I got there and uh, just working on the front end all the guys uh, walking around there's three mechanics and they're kind of looking at me weird I'm like I'm just excited man I'm just I'm just excited so I'm trying trying to like you know I'm trying not to be that guy you know it would be different if I knew them and was hanging around and was able to help but obviously they're a business I, I can't do that as a customer and them even bringing me in there is a hazard for themselves as it is so actually before I let you guys go here too soon I also want to extend the shout out so this is where the truck is getting done Baker's four-wheel drive here in St. Catharines Ontario you can see a couple of Jeeps out there right now um, 
and they have a bunch of pro projects going on. Uh, there was a Gladiator out there not too long ago. So if you're in the Niagara region, you're looking to lift your truck um, or get wheels and tires mounted or anything of the sorts off-road related, be sure to check them out. Again, it's Baker's Four Wheel Drive here in St. Catharines. Really great people, um, really com like really helpful. Uh, he, the desk guy I was telling you guys about already uh, helped me search for rims actually. I didn't end up using any of the ones that he uh, recommended to me. However, still the gesture was very, very nice of him to do. Normally places like that kind of throw you out on your own. Uh, he's been very helpful with you know, sizing and dimensions, making sure everything will fit, and as well as keeping a style and really investing himself into uh, the buying process and everything which is much appreciated as well. well. Hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys here in a bit. And uh, man, I'm so excited. All right, what's going on guys? So the date today is Friday, November 13th. And uh, this build I've been waiting for a week and a half now, I think. It's been going on for a while. Um, so I don't know if I explained clearly, but Rough Country forgot to ship out the control arm drop brackets in the package that contained the lift. But the guys at the shop got to work on taking the components out and everything. And once they laid out all the suspension, but they had already had the truck apart by that point, that's when they realized they didn't have the control arm drop brackets. Not everything was in the, was in the box. Um, Rough Country leaving out that component there added a week and a half to my truck being done. I should have had my truck a week ago. But it is what it is. I appreciate Rough Country for sending out the drop brackets right away um, so we can get it done as soon as possible considering the mistake there. So not at all on my bashing Rough Country. Um, but today, the news for today is they have the truck all together. I believe right now they are actually shaving down the bumper uh, to fit the wheels so that way I can actually make turns. <laughs> And uh, I'm actually on my way to go check it out now that the wheels are back on. Word has it that people around the shop there are in love with my truck and I think the rims look amazing. So I am i can't help myself, I have to go check it out. It's not done yet, the truck, uh, like I said, they're working on the bumper and then it has, still has to be aligned. Um, they don't have uh, an alignment machine uh, at their shop so they do it out of house. All right, today is the day, today is the day. you guys see it right away but at least you'll see my reaction at first. All together is what they want to show. Oh it's there now? Yeah I'm trying to hold it. Okay no that's good yeah I'm not gonna be bummed. Yeah it looks beautiful. So it looks like I will not be doing my re my reaction just yet. It's already at the alignment shop. I was hoping I'd beat it. <laughs> like I said to him I'm not gonna complain about them getting it to the alignment shop as soon as possible. So I'm gonna not even pretend to be bummed out that it's not here right now. Well I'll pick up this video when I can actually see the truck. Alright guys, so it is now a couple hours later since the last time I spoke here. Um, I'm, I'm headed home now, so that way I can get a ride to pick up the truck. And from there I'll be able to film my reaction and show you guys the truck as well. Um, I'm so excited, I, I just want to get to it though because there's been so many times where I've been so close and then it's like, nope.
I'm headed to the top, I'ma prove it And baby girl, I like what you're doing Your body's out of sight when you're moving You look fine with every breath, trust me I'ma be the one at the top, you always be ageless I'm the type of dude that will always feel shameless I'm the type of dude that they say is fucking heinous Cause I'm the type of dude that you know is fucking dangerous probably can't see anything at all this is it this is the truck Driving a lifted truck. First time driving the Ranger while well, it's lifted. Holy crap. I feel like I'm on top of everything. <laughs> so they did have to shave the bumper down a little bit to fit the wheels. Not sure if I heard any rubbing. I'm. It's hard for me to pay attention to anything right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to get on the highway here. Give me a second. Much slower. Holy, it rides extremely smooth. Um, like I, he is, has only been on the lift to and from the alignment shop. And I'm taking it directly onto the highway. Um, but at 110 kilometers an hour, it's maintaining itself very well. It feels so much slower getting up to speed of course added weight and just um, you know being higher up in the air will do that but so I'm gonna focus on getting home first and I'll show you guys more of this truck once we're stopped and I can walk you around it this is insane I this was well worth the wait guys I I'm so excited for this one thing I'm happy to see is no lights no more tire sensor light that's a win that's a win that's where they cut the bumper. It's not even bad. These wheels look insane. No, oh, yeah, it's not bad. This is it guys, the truck is lifted. Look at these wheels, oh, the perfect size, 17 by eight and a half rims. And the set of uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. So that equivalents to 33s and then the five inch rough country lift. This thing looks awesome. Well, this is the day I got my lifted truck. The height difference between the Jeep and the truck is 
very slim now. I can't, I can't, I can't get over it. <laughs> Wow. Alright, well, tomorrow I believe we're taking this to a uh, shop and we're gonna put it up and we're gonna clean it up um, and spray it down. So we're gonna clean up the uh, underside of it. Just cause, well, you won't be able to see anything because it's nighttime, but the old components look a little dirty, rusty, and whatnot. So we're just gonna clean it up and freshen it up. And that is tomorrow's job. So, this is nuts. Alright guys, so I'm driving the lifted Ranger and I just kind of wanted to come on here, um, uh, you know, kind of initial reaction of driving. Oh, there's an accident. Good job. <laughs> Bumps is a little harsh. Um, I would say the ride quality is slightly better than stock suspension. Ah, okay, well I just hit that bump and I changed my mind. I feel like ride quality is about 1.5 times better than factory, maybe double. It feels a lot smoother and um, I feel like I'm way above the road, but I'm gliding. Like the tires, hardly any noise, hardly any vibration. I felt it a little bit on the highway, but going city speeds like I am uh, right now, there is no vibration at all. It drives straight, it drives smooth. I am so amped about this. Like, this is what I originally wanted with my uh, Gray Ranger a couple of years back. It was, this was the this was the vision. Tomorrow, uh, my dad and I are going to take this to his shop, and we're going to put it up, and we're going to power wash the underbody uh, and paint as well. Well, sand it down like a little, with the wire brush and paint. So that way, the entire underbody of the truck will look clean, just since the truck's lifted now, a lot more of it is exposed. The old components really stand out. So if we could potentially make them all blend, it would be fantastic. So anyways, that's all for today. Uh, big day. I'm so excited. I've said that probably 150 times. And that's going to do it. That's going to conclude this long saga of videos for getting my truck lifted and wheels and tires. So if you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to subscribe. And if you want to see more, if you want to see them off-roading, just leave some comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you guys all so much for